What's up guys, it's Brad from JBHPD here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how you can add a kind of apocalyptic uh, flicker effect to any of the lights in your scene. I'm going to be replicating this effect I did in my Los Angeles 2054 short film. Um, so I'll go ahead and show the clip here and then we'll get started. Okay, so uh, that's the clip and the breakdown. Let's get started and uh, get in setup After Effects here. Um, so go ahead and take your footage, whatever it may be, and make it a new composition. The first thing I notice about this footage when I play through it is that it is not on a tripod, it's not stationary, so we're going to need to track the shot. So that's not really a problem, you just go ahead and go to the beginning of the footage, go over here to your tracker, click track motion, go to position and rotation, make, those, make sure those are, are, are selected, and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be taking this sign right here and the reflection from this sign and we're going to be making them flicker as if uh, there's kind of some electrical problems, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and find some points of contrast here that we can track. We can go ahead and use these two, two corners here. Nice points of contrast there for us. And uh, now we'll go ahead and scrub through. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I'll go ahead and cut this part out for you guys. Okay, so now that we finished the, uh, letting the computer do our tracking for us, we're going to go to Layer, New, and All Object. Then we're going to go to Edit Target over here by our tracker, and, and go ahead and make sure that this uh, Null object is selected right here. We're going to click OK. And then after that, we're just going to hit Apply. Apply Dimensions X and Y. Click OK. And as you can see, um, if, you don't, if you've done any tracking tutorials before, now our null object is, a tr is tracked to our footage. Okay, so now we're going to actually get to the lighting flickering, light flickering effect. And to do this effect, we're just going to use a, to use a new black solid. So go ahead and uh, make a new solid. Make sure it's black. We'll call it flicker. We'll call it dimmer. Okay. Um, now we have a new black solid over the entire image. Now go ahead and keep that solid selected, but but uncheck the uh, eye icon there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create two masks around our uh, light. The first mask is going to be the light itself. Go ahead and just make a very quick mask here just for the sake of the tutorial. So there's our first mask, and the second mask is going to be for its reflection on the ground. And we'll just go ahead and make a nice little rudimentary mask here. Okay, there we go. Now, as you can see, if we click our eye icon here, now, what, as you can see, we have two black solids that are masked around that light in the reflection. So. Once we've done that, now we're going to go to Modes on our Layer icon, and we're going to switch this to Overlay. And now, when we turn it on, it kind of, uh, as you can see, it kind of dims the light. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off, turn on and off these layers to, cr to create a flickering effect. Um, before we do that, let's make sure our uh, our black solid is parented to our null object. So go ahead and do that. Now as you can see it's, uh, it's actually tracked in the scene there and it's not going anywhere. Okay, so now that we've made sure that our um, that our black solid layer has been tracked to the footage and has been parented to our null 28 object, uh, we're going to, m to mess around with the masks on that layer. Um, now as you can see the, the top mask is alright, but the mask on the bottom for a reflection, obviously, this isn't going to do. Um, so go ahead and go into the the black solid dimmer layer. Go to mask two. That's our bottom mask, and let's go ahead and start feathering this layer out. You can see what that does is it kind of blends those pixels in together, and uh, you, can, you can kind of mess around with it yourself and see what effect you like. Um, but that looks pretty uh, close. You might want to come in here and uh, pl play around with the the actual points of the mask. 
to see what kind of result you want to get. Um, but as you can see, we're clearly doing some dimming down uh, down there. Okay, so now that we've messed with the masks and made them blend a little bit better, let's go on to the light flickering flickering effect. So go ahead and go to the uh, black solid layer, our dimmer that we just masked, and go down to transform, and then click the stopwatch on the opacity, and go ahead and make the opacity at the beginning zero, right? And let's go ahead and play through our footage here, and then let's say we want to make our our uh, LED panel flicker for a second here, right? So go ahead and click our keyframe again, then we'll go control right arrow key, and then take the opacity up to 100, and then click, click control, right arrow key again, and bring the opacity down to zero. So now what we've done, as you can see, is we've created a little flicker in the light. So yeah, you can uh, go through your footage and just Key, keyframe the opacity wherever you want whenever you want the light to flicker just keyframe that opacity down from 100 to 0 back up to 100 real quick and you've got yourself a nice uh, little light flicker effect let me know what you think as always feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can the JBS Media Facebook page is in the description below if you want to like it there to get the latest updates feel free to do so and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time hope this helped